What is up everybody and welcome to a new let's play on the channel Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove is a story based hidden object kind of collecting game sort of. I think it also has aspects of like you can only play a certain amount each day or you can only progress a certain amount each real life day although I'm not sure about that that's just something I've heard but I was asked to check this out so we're going to give it a look. It might not be an everyday thing, it might be an every other day thing, it might be an every 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 other day thing, it might be a one-off, who knows, but we're going to give it a look here real quick. This is episode one, there'll probably be more. Let's see what happens. Animals and harvest old plants have preferences, put decorations that they like nearby them. Seems interesting. But yeah, I'm excited about this one. I got another game that I'm going to put up as well, <clears throat> but yeah. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Well, um... I am not that pale, but pale. I'm not a girl either, but hey, whatever. We gotta go with the blue eyes. Ghost blue eyes. Alright, what's our cool hair color here? Dude, I think we're going red. The lady is messaging me. She was putting stuff on Snapchat and I told her to get back to work. So we're gonna see what she has to say. Looking good, I know. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carry from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainlands rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that the previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout model, all those who are lost deserve kindness. <coughs> It's a nice thing. So WASD to move around. And it does look very black and white now. I know for a fact that that'll change. So what are we doing here? Tell me to check my provisions. I have no provisions. I click the fire though? Okay. <coughs> How old are those starter logs? Scout, tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've licked it off the old brochures, tossed it into my embers. I sense dozens of wounded restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place for young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah, well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. See, that makes me think that we are a spirit. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? Uh, what if I say no? Scout, you've been preparing the, for this overnight for years. Of course you're nervous, that's natural. There's nothing to be worried about out there. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there for a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. I'm here to help! The fire seems brighter. You're now Scout rank 1. Cool. I feel like I'm they're supposed to, like, is there something there? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Hi! Oh, you changed into a big bear. Huh, another imaginary camper. Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? I am! Well, I haven't heard this news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger, also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say that uniform of yours. It looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout! That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. Um... But I'm trained to fix all your ghostly woes. Yep, that sounds like classic Spirit Scout propaganda. You're not the first Spirit Scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned to fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. What happened? Oh my. I just clicked through it. Okay. It did not go as planned, apparently. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning on to stay warm tonight, remember the first rule of the wilderness, survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for the both of us. Okay. You've discovered... Is this the wood log? Okay, so that's the log, I guess? So if I take this... Here's a log for you. Oh my goodness. This is spirit wood. Where did you get this? From a bear in a ranger suit. A bear in a ranger suit. I see. Well, first off, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Groves runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. 
They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died. If enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood has finally caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. And this is how you expand your island. Say, it's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth will do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. You have earned the new badge, Logburner. <clears throat> and got a little bit of his story, her story advanced. See, we can get it all the way up. And some coins. Don't mind if I do. Give me the coins. I need these. I'll go talk to that exclamation point in a second. I want to pick up the coins. There's more. I know there are. Is that all of them? That looks like all of them. Can I sprint? I can indeed sprint. Amazing. Hi there, other bear. What's this? Cool. Collect. Sorry, so sorry. I figured I'd be invisible. Yep, yep. Sorry, I was doing thing. Oh, this is awkward. This is this is awkward. Apology accepted. That's very very kind of you. More than I more than I deserve, I'm sure. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid it'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, Maker Buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise to make it worth your while. We'll do. All right, so we need to find branches. <clears throat> There's one. Wink. Received a branch. I did! I'm not sure how much I like the UI. But, see, look at this. We, oh, we stand still. Okay. So that's like our quest objective, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Branches. I might like overlook them as well, in which case I'm sorry. Branches, where are you? I want to help you become something new are you on the beach <gasps> there's one on the beach there's one on the beach one on the beach <gasps> dude my boat's gone oh no also i think there's fishing because i see fish <clears throat> and that will be great i have your branches mr bear look at these sticks what beauties a twist here a scoop there and voila your first shovel not my finest work my paws kept slipping through the life but if you want to dig up the soft dirt mounds around the island, the shovel will do the trick. Sea spirits have helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it, darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, I have a spirit log, too. Thank you for the spirit log, my friend. Um... So it is okay so m brings up badges if you see that pop up from time to time it's probably because i'm muting myself to like avoid coughing in your guys ears or sneezing or something i have a pretty bad cough so i do cough quite a bit but i generally try to hit the uh the mute button generally so we can dig up soft dirt mounds he said what do those look like perchance you tell me, do I only have the spirit log quest now? Okay. Maybe there's none right now? That could be possible. Oh, wait, is that one? Ah! What do we get? I got a potato! Oh my goodness, potatoes are amazing! Another potato! Did it say it could rot? No, oh, it says root. Okay. Hello, friend. Here's a log for you. Yes. Well done, my light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh, he looks quite at home here. But wait, there's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear, best go see for yourself. It was my boat, wasn't it? I already noticed. It was my boat. It was my boat. What are all these little guys down here? Because we're going to get this now. Achievements 2. Tutorial completed. Collect. Give me my stuff. 300 gold coins. I'll take them. And old coins, not gold coins, by the way. There's a lot of different things to collect. This could very well be like a 100% game. What are you? Oh, I can, I can get that. Oh, cool. It's like leaf piles and I get stuff. Oh, neat. 
freaking neat, bro. All right. Oh, hi there. You're like a big fox. I'll buy your stuff, will you? Well, hello there, perspective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit, but how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course, but I am far too polite to repeat it. <laughs> I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch, I set the prizes. I want to buy something. Take a look. Uh, I can buy a fishing rod. Give it to me. Yeah, take my money. Absolutely. I've got a fishing rod, a fishing rod, a fishing rod. I'm gonna catch some fish today. Also, you said some salty figure, so I'm assuming he's down by the beach, which is expanded. Can I, like... Oh, you can move with, uh clicking as well. Can you move by holding? You can. Neat. Hello there. Who might you be? In life, I was a bear of the sea. I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. I like these little uh, artworks. They're very nice. It's like a dolphin bear. <laughs> And now I am transformed. A vast young person. How long have you been standing there? You caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Bill Weather Snout, though some call me the Seagull Bear. So are you a bear or a seagull? A bit of both. Squawk. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for a little fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. See, sir, I already have a fishing rod. Aye, sailor, that will do. That will do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take that rod and catch us a whopper. Okay, I'll do that. Um, get a little bit up. Look at that. So, you want me to catch a fish. How do I... How do I cast? Oh, collect. How do I how do I how do I cast? Space, enter, tab, shift, control. Ah, drag the fishing rod icon. Got you. Got you. Okay. Understood. That's a little far. So it's like Animal Crossing. Wait for it. And then I think I just, I'm assuming I just, yeah, I just tap click, okay. Yeah, leather skin. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, cool. I have a fish. I've seen you've already been testing out your rod. Well, either give me the one you've got or catch a new one i'll be waiting catch any fish i've done that hey a fine fin you managed to dredge up there good eating i think he and i will have plenty of time for fishing now that your boat's washed out to sea my boat did what oh uh, yes a loose knot a fickle tide is all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to neptune's bosom don't blame yourself the island's a maelstrom of ill fortune it's churned up by our wretched tales of ghostly woe until we spirits find a measure of peace none may leave this place so young sailor though you're a living scout and i'm a ghost we have something in common we're both stranded here on Crazy Groove. Whatever plans you have of solving our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. You bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors. Squack. Great. Also, these little things are creepy, and I don't, I don't know about them. Story advanced. Not a lot of story advanced there, but we got some gold, some old coins. I keep wanting to call them gold coins. They're definitely not gold coins. Get the, get the, get the. I don't think we can get those guys. Do we want to like do like a, like a little, little, little more fish on here? Oh, we want to shoot it that way though. Come here, fishy, fishy. Get in. Do it. Gotcha. Wee. What are you? A loach. Mmm, fun. All right, let's go back over to the fire and throw our new log on there. Seems like a plan to me, man. Here you go, little guy. 
Here's a log for you. <coughs> Delicious. Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spear log should do it, though. I sense at least two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Ah, so he's not going to grow fully this time with just one log. I see, I see. Let's go ahead and dig this up. So we got quartz and potatoes. Hi there, friend. Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on the island simply by exploring with a keen eye, but other times you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those, and when you come across, you'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. So we want to find the book, I'm guessing. Looking for leaf piles. I'm going to definitely overlook a lot of these, by the way, so don't hate me. Don't hate me. Hi, friend. Do you have any new stuff? Oh, you do. What is this? Oh, you can upgrade the store. Okay. Uh-huh. Neat. We'll come back to you at some point, I'm sure. Leaf pile. This is a very chill game. The music is very, you know, chill. Calm. Everything is okay. Hi there. Oh, I was just thinking. Hi, Maker Buddy. I was leafing through the ancient jo joke book, Philoga the Phil Philogilus from the 4th century. Let's see what we can learn from the old masters. A drunk opens a bar. The station's the chained bear outside. Hmm, that was terrible. I'm sorry, Maker Buddy. I'm just wasting your time at this point. You are just wasting my time at this point. Well, this is what they look like when they're not. Oh, we found it. Yay. <clears throat> also, can I get this food? Harvest. I can! Look at that! This game is very, very cute. Whoa! That area is, this area is much bigger now. This wasn't here before, was it? I don't think so. Bro, where are the spirit logs at? I know we completed that mission, but he said there were two out here. Near or far, he said. <clears throat> Makes me think I've overlooked one. I wonder if you can, like, fish them up or something. That would be, uh, interesting. Maybe near means, like, right over here. What if, what if? I'm just gonna look while I go back to... This person, here you go. That's it. Well, that's the old Spirit Scout Wilderness Guide. And hey, the Mento Collection portion of this book is still intact. That's where scouts track their progress helping local spirits, which I have to admit you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress helping the spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the. Yeah, let's look at it. Yeah, show me my sweet relationship progress. That's the spirit. Here it is. Look at that. And we can view the memories. Oh, look. And then you can, like, show the comic that it showed us. Look at that. Very cool. I like that you can go back and look at those. One out of eight found. One out of nine found. Two out of seven found. Cool. <clears throat> Very cool. Thank you for the spirit log. And the tiny story advancement. Tiny. But still a story advancement at the very least. I've come to help you, little fire. Here you go, buddy. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these barons guide them through their remembering themselves, eventually they will find peace. Ah, my light shines farther, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. I do? I do, you're right. Okay, let's go. But first, I saw this in the corner. Dig it up, dig it up. It's like a radish or a turnip or something. Which one was it? It's a parsnip. I'm just completely wrong altogether. <clears throat> he did say there were two spirit logs out there, and I only got one of them. So, like, that looks like a, like a beat to me. Ooh, coins. Nice. What do you need, my friend? Wait, what? No, I want to talk to you. 
Can I help you with something? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young placid bird. If you buy it and bring it to me, I'll show you its spirits. Okay. <clears throat> I can do that. Hello, Mr. Kit. I want to buy something. This right here. Likes decoration, lamp, rustic decor. Dislikes imp. Okay. Sounds great. Take my money. Purchased. Thank you. I got it. Yes, that's the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. They're given specific foods and keep near things they like and they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find a spot for it to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? I'll do it. Thanks for the spirit log, friend. <clears throat> and story advancement. What up? And color. The color is the best part. Honestly. Nico, little guy. Let's give you this log, though, real quick. Delicious. Only four more logs farm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. See, see. Let's place here. <clears throat> Hi there. Give me a little pet. Yeah, little guy. Go and go. Oh, yeah. Can I pet you again? Would it help? Oh, yeah. I'll give you a little bit more. A little more. Not would not help. Okay, so let's see. You feed cooked food. Okay. <clears throat> well, I don't have any cooked food at the moment. Sorry. Give me the coins. Thank you. This looks like a really big leaf pile, but I can't dig into it. Looks like the new person is over here. I'm just looking for leaf piles and stuff, by the way. Hello there, friend. Who are you? You look like a postal delivery person. Patrice Furbach, the postal bearer at your disposal. You know, when I joined the service, I figured I'd be in for life, and I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts, that's a whole new bag. What's the difference? Before I went boots up, my work was a certain routine. Deliveries for a local residence had arrived at the town post office at 0800 Sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residents. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up whenever and wherever they want to. I run patro ran patrol this morning look for new arrivals. But I bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. <clears throat> okay, you need a package. I will look for your package, friend. We will see what we can find. But foist. We must frolic and gather things. Many, many things to be picking up. Hello, my friend. I am coming to help. We must let these spirits pass on. That is the goal. Can I help you? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. I don't need any more apologies. Ah, sorry. I'm afraid apologizing is just in my nature. I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you is not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First though, I'm going to need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. I probably have it all already, honest. That's quite a lot of materials you've gathered, and I bet you're wondering, what sort of tools he's going to make for me now? Sorry, no tool this time. Did you know folks used to come here from all over just to learn how to build and fix things for themselves? Maybe if I pass that skill on to you, I can pass on myself. My crafting binge is open to you anytime. Just stop by and let me know when you want to craft something. Here, have some crafting recipes to get you started. Just select one and learn a recipe, then you can bring the ingredients to me to get crafting. I believe you already have enough wood to build yourself something interesting. I want to make something right now. Great, let me show you my workshop. Okay, so we can... Softwood. You can make... Oh, wait. No, 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 I wasn't done. I wasn't... I wasn't done. But I will learn these recipes. Farmhouse stool. You've learned a new crafting recipe. Cool. A little mushroom. And fence crafting. Okay. Cool. Alright. Now. As I was saying, sir. <clears throat> I want to craft something. So I was looking at this. So you can use branches to make softwood. And then softwood to make hardwood. And you can make semi-precious gemstones. You can make chairs tables fences very interesting oh i was just thinking when i was younger i loved running did you know that you can sprint if you hold the shift key i did thank you 
so it looks like they give little tips from time to time, which is nice. All right, my dear sailor friend, what is up? A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows through, clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers into my coat might soften a breeze a bit. Too bad I just molded. You want me to find some feathers for you, buddy? I'll look around for some feathers for you. Oh, just cracked my neck if you heard that. Sorry. <clears throat> no promises I'll be able to find them, but I'll do my best. The foist. Harvest. The stuff is ready to be picked up. So we're gonna look for some feathers, my friends. Feathers, feathers, where are you? Feathers, feathers, also packages, 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 <clears throat> and feathers. I'm probably gonna overlook these feathers, man, if I had to guess. Ooh! Another thing to harvest. Beautiful. Oh, feather. Here's a log for you, friend. More! Three more! I sense someone has a log that needed to give you if you can help them. I'm sure they do. I'm currently looking for five feathers. I have found two. And I probably overlooked them. And people are like, there's a feather right there! What are you doing? There's a feather right there! Yes, 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 yes. Feather, feather. Feathers, feathers, where are you? I'm kind of blind at looking for this stuff, especially in black and white. They gotta be like up here somewhere, man. Feathers. Oh dear. This is, this is gonna take me a while with all these trees and stuff, man. Like, what if they're, like, just sitting behind the trees? Oh, another feather. What if they're just, like, sitting behind the trees? Can they spawn behind the trees? My mind is only tracking feathers right now. There's another fire right here, actually. Wait a minute. Can I make another fire? No. Okay. Not 100% where your package is yet, friend. I'm sorry. Feather! You're hiding from me and I don't like it. This black and white is kind of killing my eyes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's making it rough for me to look at. Maybe one's on the beach somewhere that I missed. Could be. Can you make do with four feathers? Could that be enough? No? No, you, you specifically need five feathers? That's the exact amount you need to be better? Okay, well, I hoped. <clears throat> My hopes were dashed, unfortunately. Bro, I have walked past this feather so many times, I already know it. I already know it. Everybody's gonna be yelling at me, man. Oh, I found it! Haha! -ha. I am the greatest! Here's your feathers, sir. That's a fine set of feathers! But why bother helping me, little castmate, when you have such troubles of your own? Just being neighborly. Neighborly. You might find some who put stock in that concept here on Cozy Grove, but it doesn't mean much to us birds. Still, I thank you. With these bits of fluff pad in my coat, the wind's bite does lose its teeth. Bundled so, a rule of afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot refeather your wings. No? You can't? You gonna give me that spear lock, though? Yeah, you are. Story advanced. Boom. And explosion of color. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Who knows where this dude's package is, by the way? Like, I have absolutely no idea. But yeah, here you go, little fire. Throw a little log on you. Yum. Two more before I'm full. I sent someone has a log. I need to give you if you can help them. I will probably be doing that next time. But for now, let's claim these new things that we've got. Harvest tin molds. Uh, give it to me, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. And also, place one animal. 
Beautiful. 20 quarts. Well, that's probably going to do for this first episode of Cozy Grove, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's a fun little game. I can't wait to do a little bit more of it. For sure, probably going to record one more right after this, actually. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button. The bell it helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace!